matinee baseball on tap for you on MLB Network. Coming your way from this. Chris Sale is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, I'm really excited to watch him pitch. He's one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game. You can tell just sitting there looking at those numbers right there. He's piling up some big numbers. He's having a historic season, and for him, maybe a career year. Oh, and the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. Now, a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, there's only a few guys that can swing it and flip it like Joey Bats, Jose Batista. He's hit six home runs in his last ten games, and he's taking the league by storm right now. He's punishing every mistake he sees. And we'll see if he can lose another ball over the wall again today. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kevin Pillar is the second out of the opening frame. A good tailing fastball for a strike one and one. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And he'll try to hold up in time but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Gavin Floyd a right hander from the state of Maryland is on the mound here HR what's the word on him the way I see him Matt, he's really struggled because he allows a lot of base runners whether it's by the walk or by the hit and when you have that much traffic on the base pass you're going to eventually give up runs so he's got to eliminate that and give his team and himself a chance to win this game into the box now Jackie Bradley Jr. Having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Wow, that got up onto the roof deck. What a blast that was. So here it is again, accompanied by show track. Great exit velocity, and the projected distance comes back at over 470 feet. An impressive thing to watch when it happened, and even more impressive to quantify with the numbers. And Harold, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Matt, here we are, the bottom of the first inning. The team has been struggling coming in, and now they find themselves already down one nothing. I think that this is more forth. of a mental thing second than maybe even physical. They got to turn Dustin it around. Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories here's a swing now by Pedro as he sends this one in the air to deep left field and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed batting pick first baseman there's the first baseman hey. now Mitch Moreland a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Pilar has to retreat to the track but he has it to retire the side so two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Leading off for the Blue Jays. Right Jose fielder. Bautista oh, is Jose at the plate Bautista. as he looks at ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Betts is going to be the one that makes that play, and he had a long ways to go to record the first out. Troy Tulowitzki. Troy Tulowitzki is at the plate as he watches ball one. Here's the 1 0 offering now to Tulowitzki. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And this will be taken by Pedroia for out number two. Here's Steve Pierce now looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Bradley will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Here's Brock Holt now. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Pilar racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Batting seventh, third baseman. 
Bruce Castillo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. Back to back pitches. A triple. And then an RBI single. He better step up and take a breather here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. Runners off for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. No one out with a runner at second. This is line to left. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with the double in the ball game last night. Runner goes. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. A runner at second. Nobody out. Hard hit ball to second. Travis has it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now Here's Mookie Betts. Right They've got two already home in the Mookie inning and a potential third Betts. waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Driven nicely into the gap. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the now first two innings here. And here's fielding. another one. Absolutely Shockey. jumped off his back Ryan. and into the Junior. outfield. Bringing another run home here in the early going. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitches a bold strike. The throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And add one more as this is now a 6 0 ball game. Now left the left handed hitting Andrew left Benintendi left stands left in. Left 0 for 1 here in the early going. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, oh, looking for that first pitch 18. fastball. He's struggling right now, and they are feasting. Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Floyd pauses. Here he comes 0-1. On the ground to the right side. Travis fields it from deep in the hole. On to first, and it's in time. As Welcome back to Fenway Park as we continue our coverage of Major League Big Baseball on MLB Network. First base it's swung on and hit in the air. Henry Bradley is Moran. there. He's got it one away. Batting eight, the catcher, number 55, Russell Martin. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Bradley has a beat on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Here's Not Melvin ignite. Upton Jr. now. And Dan, seven. it seems like this starter Melvin is just Upton dominating the Jr. game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this now offense batting. can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ben Intendi is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quick. 
And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Designated header, Brock. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on past Tulowitzki. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. So he continues to hit the ball well, his second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 0-1 on its way. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody the out. Shortstop. Well, that's Number a line two. drive single, but Sanders. the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, point. he had the freeze. Now, hit it a little, little bit too game. hard at the wrong Number guy. 31. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Yeah. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. A tag, and he's out at the plate. A double play. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Castillo rounds third and is digging for the plate. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's eight to nothing. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Kevin Pillar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Now that's a good changeup right there. You know the guy's sitting fastball. You get him out in front. Now that changeup's in his head the rest of the at bat. Ben Intendi, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now here it comes. Josh Donaldson is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 0. And this is fouled back and out of play. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Right Into the windup and the pitch. Jose, Jose Bautista, Bautista will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. High in the air into shallow left center. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Pilar. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers. But there is a need for short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He swings and lines it to left. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Lined hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Here's Brock Holt now. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily.
Comes set and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more. Rusne Castillo. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Swing and a line drive to left. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Moreland rounds the corner and is headed home. The runner from second crosses the plate. Ready for another shot now. Xander Bogarts. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering on its way. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Three runs already home here. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field off the light tower and it's gone. Well, when a manager talks about hitting being contagious, that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, there's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ranging back is Pilar. Gone! To back jacks on back to back pitches. Now batting. Here's Mookie Betts. Mookie. He swings Betts. and grounds it to short. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away. Here comes the first pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Chop foul over towards the dugout. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Don Tulowitzki comes up empty there as he swings and misses for the first out. Up next for the Blue Jays. Steve Pierce better. comes on with oh, one gone here as he Pierce. looks at a called strike one. He's having a really good game. He's over 70% first pitch strike. When you get that first pitch strike, now it opens up the whole strike zone, and that's why a pitcher can dominate, and he's doing that in this game. Again, he sends it out of play. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Here's Kendry's Morales. First two men in the, the inning have both gone down First via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jackie Lay Bradley Jr. He'll start things out in the home there. half of inning number Jackie five. Bradley Hit hard Jr. towards center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Running hard. He's digging for second. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. Bradley takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he will come all the way around to now score. Unbelievable. J.P. Howell gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw gets him at first base as he took away a sure base at that time. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dustin Pedroia. Head-to-head -head matchup numbers with J.P. Howell. Four hits in 16 tries. Hard hit at third. A dive, and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here, as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Our first baseman, number 18, Mitch. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. Moreland. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And they won't get him. It's a stolen base for Pedroia. The 0-1. 
hit hard on the ground to first. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. So another run is across to score on the base hit. And with that, we take a look at the league leaders in runs scored so far. And right now, the Red Sox are the best around as they top the AL in that department. Runner goes for second. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Runner at second here with one man out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Pilar. Gone! Now batting, third baseman, Rusne Castillo. Into the box, Rusne Castillo. As he hits one on a line to left field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Number two, Xander. Sliding in once again, Xander Bogarts. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's set and the pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Into the box now, Blake Swihart. But this is right to Tulowitzki at short, and that'll end the... Russell Martin now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out Maybe the side Toronto. last inning. How did they the get to him here? 55. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to Russell stay as patient. Martin. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, number seven. Melvin, Melvin Upton Jr. Upton is Jr. in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Oh, and he throws it away. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued to on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Well, the Blue Jays have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. They're hoping they get it right now. This would sure be a good time. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Kevin Villar comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. On to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. Third baseman, number 20, Josh. Donaldson. Josh Donaldson is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 and 0. Swing and a miss 1 and 1. He's got a good fastball, Matt, and you can clearly see this situation. He's in a little bit of a jam, but he's going right to his bread and butter. Here comes my heater. I dare you to hit it. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number 9 here and the side is retired. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll have the opportunity Leading to kick things Red off Sox. as we begin the right home sixth. Fielder. Mookie Betts. First pitch on its way. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw on to first by Tulowitzki is in time for route number one. Now batting. Jackie Bradley Jr. will stride Jackie in again as he Bradley. looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. One out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Well, he's had a heck of a day right there. That base hit's going to make him four for four on a day, and the batting average just continues to rise. Andrew Benintendi will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Uh, Might have been in time, but it's high, and it allows his man to dive in safely. 
Runner goes for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. And Pedroia's got himself a base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Well, I tell you, Matt, right there, oh, man, that, that was an interesting 18. play because the defense is playing so deep. They're playing no doubles. I just feel like if they were in at a normal depth, they would have caught that ball. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 0 1 pitch. This is line to left, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista, over two on the afternoon so far. A change up that catches the corner for strike one. Hit hard on the ground at first. Moreland is there. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. The shortstop, number two. Troy Tulowitzki. Here comes the first pitch. Troy Tulowitzki stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1 and 1. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Got him to go down swinging there. Troy Tulowitzki goes down for out number two in the top half. Steve Pierce is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Boy, he's been great. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And as you can see, they are way behind. Jason Grilly enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Jason Grilly. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone into the monster seats. And now the Blue Jays get a left hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Third baseman, Rusne Castillo. Stepping in now, Rusne Castillo to right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogarts. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. The tag, and he is out at second. Up next for the Ready right once shot. again, Patrick. Blake Swihart. He's Blake. homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this now afternoon. Right fielder. Mookie. Striding in once again, Mookie Betts. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He, of course, has launched three balls over the fence in this one and possibly looking for number four here. First delivery to him on the way. 
Hard hit ball to second. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. Betts is on his way home, and he will score as well. And he is in there. It's rare to hit a triple, but he's knocking on the door of history right now. In addition to that three-bagger, which is the hardest one to get, he already has a home run and a single. So if he gets a double next time up, he's going to have a cycle. Line hard toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. That's second baseman number 15. Ready for Dustin another chance? Dustin Pedroia. He's been scorching hot at the plate in this one. Four hits, including a big fly thus far. To short, hit hard. Up with it now is Tulowitzki. Go in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. The nearly bat around here is eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Here's Kendry's Morales. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Betts. He's got it one away. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Look out, 2-0 now. And the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. On its way is pitch number 75. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Uh, he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Here's Melvin Upton Jr. now. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He's feeling it out there on the mound. Just got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Blue Jays. Digging in once again, Leading Mitch Moreland. Alexa. He'll get things started First now in the bottom of inning number eight. Marlin. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Gone to lead off the inning. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Here's Brock Holt now. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Pilar. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. Well, in hockey, they They're call it a hat play. trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing, outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. Aaron He's having an Luke. afternoon he'll never forget. Aaron Luke comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. He swings and crushes it. Oh, my, there is no doubt about this one, and they've done it again. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back home runs. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogart. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Now batting, catcher. And that'll Blake. bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. Already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. First offering on its way. Hard liner to center field. Pilar is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting, right Here's fielder. Mookie Betts. Two Mookie. hits and six tries for him thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. On to Lansdowne and gone. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. That gets down, and the inning continues. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Up next for the Red Sox, 
Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The 0 and 1 delivery. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that'll wind up a foul ball just to the right of Pesky's pole. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Around third, here's Bradley in full flight. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, due to the elite speed, some say he's in scoring position even when he's starting from first. And here Showtrack demonstrates why as we see the incredible top speed as he came around to score pretty easily from second. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Not in time as he steals second. One, here's the pitch. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And that is into the visitors' bullpen, a home run. The first baseman, number 18, Mitch Moreland. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they're going to hold that runner at third base as even with two away they didn't now like batting. their chances there. Third baseman, Bruce Digging Castillo. in and looking for more. Rusne Castillo. Two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Out of here and by a long ways a monstrous three run home the run. Shortstop, number two. Xander Here's Bogart. Xander Bogarts now. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back-to-back -back home runs. The batter, Patrick Blake. In now, Blake Swihart. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bautista looks up. Gone! You gotta be kidding me. Back to back to back home runs. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Mookie Betts. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A dive by Tulowitzki, but he comes up empty. That's a base hit. Next Ready for another up. shot now. Center Jackie Fielder. Bradley Jr. Jackie he singled his Bradley last time up. Jr. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Runners on his way to third. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Two outs here with a runner at third. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one and that'll retire the side. But not before 12 men cross the plate here as they really break Getting this game open. And that'll Second bring baseman. up the speedy Devin Travis. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Kevin Pillar stands in as he looks at ball one here. 
And that's in there for his strike one and one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And that's taken for strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Going for strikeout number 15. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Under it, Castillo, and Rusney has it for out number two. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Tons of runs in this one. Chris Sale gets to that magic number.